with any friends i am laney i am marshall and we are in a little bit of a different space right now it is 40 degrees out here in orlando which is crazy yeah to me and just a couple days ago it was kind of hot it so. was over 80. welcome to florida mm -hmm. <laughs> the january collection we have changed quite a bit of things about the company and how we are doing things so this video will serve as letting you know what we are doing as well as some of the new things that we are coming out with. So we have decided now that we are no longer going to be having all of our scents available all of the time. We only have certain collections that will be available year round and one collection per month sometimes two that will be available only for one month. So for example the year round collections will be our signature scents Stranger Things, Harry Potter, Star Wars, Marvel, and four of our most favorite Disney scents which will be in this video that you'll be able to see. Those are the only ones available year-round but for the month of January we do have the animation collection available for you. Something else that we wanted to bring up before we kind of jump into this because you're going to see some of these things in here but it is still kind of in flux. So the first thing you're going to need to know is we aren't offering all of our products with each scent. So before we would have like one scent and it would be like available in wax, scrub, spray, like everything. And that is no longer happening. You will be able to get everything in a spray but not in all the other stuff and we'll explain that as we come to it. The second thing you need to know is about Create a Sense. We have been doing Create a Sense in our Facebook group however it has really started to dwindle off and that is kind of a travesty because we felt like it was kind of a fun thing for people to do. So as of April and on, we will no longer be doing create a sense where you can submit according to a theme. However, we still do commissions and you can find all of that information about co commissions in the Facebook group. That link will be down below, but it is in the pinned posts announcements. You'll be able to find out all the details and the tiers to how you can make a commission and make a scent your own if you really want to. But that was basically what we had to do because we have over 150 cents in our library right now so we just we couldn't really we couldn't really do this every month as well and also this does give you a little bit more of an opportunity to really get through a scent before you like decide whether you want to get more of it so mm -hmm. if some of our collections are only available on one month of the year you get you stock up on one you like and continue on through until you find something else you like or mm -hmm. wait for it to come back and Definitely. that way you can actually use what you have and not just hold on to it. Exactly. For those of you who are new also, you will maybe think that a lot of this is confusing, but um, if you join our Facebook group, it, there you can tell. Like in the announcements, it basically tells you what you want. Also, if you go to our website, you'll be able to find the stuff on there. Right now we are having some ridiculously deeply discounted deals from um, every, all of our overstock. So if you go to the website, you'll be able to get stuff for like, 50% off, maybe even more, and that is while supplies last. And every order gets a, a little grab bag th of things, of uh, like some stickers, decals, buttons, postcards, maybe even a roll on that we have left over. So that if you make an order now, you might yeah. get that. Yep. So are we ready to jump into new stuff? Uh, yeah, I totally am. Okay. These are the four scents that are available year round. We're calling them the Disney faves. Mm -hmm. part of it. There are actually three different Disney collections. We have Disney Classics, Disney Contemporary, and the Disney Faves. So these are basically the four original mm -hmm. yeah. Disney scents and they are probably the most popular. Let us start with one of my favorite scents of all time. Oh, is it this one? It could be that one. It could be this one. This is Ohana Sunrise. The smell is lime, sugar, cantaloupe, and watermelon. The reason why we're showing it to you in this video is because the labels for these four have been redone. Up until now they were in the really really old type where it was complete artwork all the way around. Now we have done a cosplayable. We now have Roxy and Hershey and they are as Lilo and Stitch. They're really indicative of being in Hawaii. They, they have all the lime and the coconut and you mix it all up and a little bit of other uh, fruity scents thrown in there. Mm -hmm. now, I, it's what's good about it is it's just kind of refreshing it's kind of awakening so Hershey is Stitch and Stitch is like one of my favorite Disney mm -hmm. characters but I love how we put him in the Elvis outfit yeah. I thought it was super cute it also kind of fits his pose now we had actually made a little guitar for him to have but 
it didn't quite look right in the picture. But I think that Roxy as Lilo just looks perfect. It's, it's so cute. So the second set we're going to talk about is Dinkle Hopper, which is themed off of The Little Mermaid. The scent notes are suntan lotion, pineapple, and orange. This is the perfect scent for summer. People mm -hmm. love this scent. Now, for me personally, I can deal with it in a spray, but in a wax, sometimes it's a little overpowering. So if you are very sensitive to scents, this might not be for you but I still love The Little Mermaid. It's one of my favorite movies. So mm -hmm. tell us about the art. So we could have gone with just taking one of our female characters and dressing her up as a mermaid, but do we ever do what's just obvious? No. So instead we have Zane and he is dressed up as Prince Eric's statue that was lost at the very beginning of the movie and ends up in Ariel's Grotto. Ariel's Grotto was the setting of the original artwork that we did for Dinglehopper. Only- Which was sense. extensive. It was a lot. <laughs> Our next scent is The Last Petal, which is, of course, themed by Beauty and the Beast. This scent was submitted, I think, originally by Christina, if I remember correctly. So she helped us create this one. The scent is Roses, Winter Air, and Musk. It really does smell exactly like you would think the castle would smell like if you were standing right next to the dome with the rose. Especially right during that time when they're like they get into a snowball fight between the two of them out in the garden. Mm -hmm. I also think it's kind of like that scene too. For sure. Yeah. You can see in the art here we have Ravenna and she is dressed up as Belle holding the rose. None of the petals have fallen off yet though. This is also a, kind of a call back to the original artwork which simply had the dress empty in front of the castle. Mm -hmm. Our next scent is the winter favorite, Snowman Sniffles, which is based off of Frozen. Frozen 2 just came out. We haven't seen it yet. And when that comes to Disney+, Plus, I'm all about it. Yeah. We just don't have time for the other movies anymore. So in this case, Snowman Sniffles, this month only, is available in three different ways. So you do have the spray. You do have the wax cup, which I will talk about in just a second. And you have candles, which is eight ounces. They are huge. They're so, this is so good. Like if you have a cold and you get one of these candles, put it in your room, start burning it. It smells like it will just clear out your sinuses. It is, it is amazing. And I'm so excited that we're using the new palm wax for the candles as well, which means it's going to be a little bit cleaner burning, a little bit better. It is eco-sustainable, which means it is not harvested in any ways that are bad for the environment. So if you're worried about that, don't be. We checked with our supply. We did. So this is the candle. Yeah, it's huge. Okay, this is an 8 ounce candle and I have to tell you, everything has gone up in price, kind of. So the sprays are now $8. It's just because a lot of our supplies have gone up in price. These candles, they are 8 ounces, they are $14. They are more expensive because you're getting a lot of wax in that here. That thing's gonna last you a while. A while. Like, we used to, we tested really small, like, 4 ounce candles and that thing has lasted me for, like, 2 weeks every night burning. So this will probably be a good month for that. So, candle. Now let's talk about the new wax. Do you see the difference? All right, it used to be just round. Now it's just like oval portion cup. It's still two ounces, but now you can see the entire art on the top. It's very awesome. Still same palm wax. These are $3. And I, I know some reasonable. of you might be being like, well, I see these two different forms of wax. What happened to the clamshells that you used mm. to produce? And honestly, when we looked at what people, what the trends are right now, what people want, we needed to make sure that we were getting you smaller portions so that you could actually use them mm -hmm. again. I mean, yeah. other other than just having it sit. But also, we really wanted to emphasize the candles because these can last you a very long time and they're a lot more user friendly for people that don't have wax melters. Mm -hmm. This is just going to be better, I think, for everybody around. You can cut with this in half and use it. There's probably two uses in here. Yeah. I think half of this is really about the size of like two of the clamshell squares, so you're going to get mm -hmm. good. Good. We'll talk about the prices for everything else as we get along to it. Of course, Snowman Sniffles is eucalyptus, mint, and camphor. It's a lot side. like Vicks Vapor Rub in the scent which uh, that doesn't sound very good but right. it is good it smells good and it's really good for you as mm. far as getting everything out of your system and i really missed producing this scent like nobody had ordered it for just a little while and i was like oh my gosh i missed this scent so much <laughs> so talk about the artwork that we have here well the artwork has somebody in it that we haven't yet seen and we're going to talk to you about them in a little while this is jamie and jamie is dressed up as elsa specifically elsa's outfit in the new movie it's a little bit more actiony more getting things done kind of outfit yes 
Yeah. I like it. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah, we'll talk about Jamie in a little bit. But we have something a little interesting that we have mm -hmm. come out with. Some people have asked for it, so we have it now in stock. It is an unscented product. So some people were asking for the sugar scrub without the fragrance oil in it. And so we delivered. We have called it The Nothing, which because there's no scent um but it's based off the movie never ending story and uh, it there's nothing in it it's legitimately just the base of what we use for the scrub so if you are looking for something that's just basically sugar scrub you can have and, it. and don't get confused when you look at the ingredients you'll see brown and white sugar a few other things and then you'll see fragrance guess what that fragrance oil is nothing I do want to say the scrubs are ten dollars now they they had kind of been ten dollars when we first released them mm -hmm. they had been on sale for like a year <laughs> so now they're back to ten dollars guys uh if you're looking for a discount all of our reps do have a discount code in our group top leap pin post comments check there sometimes they have their discount code mm -hmm. posted for you so you can get a discount but ten dollars for the next the never-ending story is like a part of consciousness now Atreyu and Artex from The NeverEnding Story, and it's Zane and Spark Chaser that are portraying them. And yes, I do have the Orin in there. I got that thing modeled pretty can, darn yeah. close. <laughs> That's a good, good Orin right there. That's awesome. Rub your hands with a little bit of this, make a wish, good. Now let's talk about our animation collection. First we'll talk about the ones that we have already had. Mm -hmm. And then we'll move into the new ones that we're adding to the collection. And a lot of these are getting new backgrounds, primarily. But mm -hmm. some of these are getting whole new artwork. Uh, from some of the ones that haven't changed pretty much at all, we have Can Do. This is from My Hero Academia, based, based off of Deku. And Spiced Cranberries, Spearmint, and Eucalyptus. And you've got... Also from My Hero Academia, Spicy Snowflake, which is vanilla, chili, and orange. This scent, I believe, was created by Zelma. Shoto Todoroki. Yes. So we got those two. That nothing has changed about this. These are favorites from last year. Same label, same, same scent, art, yeah. everything. Returning with the same exact everything is Thunder Thunder, based off of the Thundercats. It smells like orange cream and soda, so it's a little bit more sparkly version of an orange cream. And that was created by, I believe, Shannon, who did the Thunder Thunder. If not, I can always edit it. These don't have any difference in their artwork, but they do have a different background mm -hmm. and that's just because we have moved them from the television section to animation which is getting its whole new category mm -hmm. we've got woogity woogity which is based off of rocket powered uh, blue raspberry ocean breeze and lavender so it smells very much like california 90s scene yeah that was created by heather she really loved this cartoon i had never seen it me Still either. haven't. <laughs> this is now Sit. It's based on Secret Life of Pets, which, by the way, Secret Life of Pets 2 just came out on Netflix, and I need to see that because... I hadn't seen the original. I work at Universal. I haven't either. <laughs> but I work at Universal. I should see this. But anyway, now Sit. Uh, this is just getting a new background as well. But grapes, I, the artwork. apples, pears. And, uh, yeah, grapes, apples, pears. And this was uh, created by Meg. Lastly, out of the brand new background category is Doom Doom Doom. This is Invader Zim, and uh, it's got caramel, lime, and agave. Cute, zany, but still somewhat sweet. Just like the show. And it was created by Stephanie. And speaking of things created by Stephanie, here's another one. Oh, hey. This is Cute Kids Bow. It did get new art, so Marshall will talk about that. But it is strawberries and cream. It, like I said, it just got the new art. It used to have the just the Hello Kitty background, but now... We have a cosplay bowl. Yes, because we got Eleanor on our team this time. Eleanor is now dressed up as Hello Kitty, which does get a little confusing because according to the creator of Hello Kitty, Kitty is a little girl in a cat costume, but now it's a cat and a little girl in a cat. Here's a cat. She's dressed up as Hello Kitty, and it's darn cute. She is cute. And that bow that she's wearing is actually from the original artwork that we did. I took it and cropped it and put it on her head. That works. <laughs> So a scent that is a lot of people's favorite right now, like all the, all the way, just oh yeah, all, all over the place. And it's so so much people's favorite that we now have it in three different ways, four different ways. <laughs> um, and it is stronger than you. It did get new artwork as well. And the scent notes are ruby red grapefruit, champagne, and pomegranate. This was created, conceptualized by my friend Megan. Tell us about the artwork, because I'm not familiar with the show. In the original artwork, we had kind of silhouettes of these two characters, Ruby and Sapphire, that fuse together to create the character of Garnet. And in the new artwork, we have Jelly and Ravenna 
as Ruby and Sapphire. You can see Jelly as Ruby and uh, Ravenna as Sapphire. The show characters kind of have this romantic relationship. In fact, and spoilers, they get married at the end of the show. But these two are best friends that are just kind of portraying the characters. You can see a little bit of the glow from the characters' gems in their hands, and it's this is just in time because it's got a brand new series. Oh, cool. Just came out just a little while ago. Very cool. Yeah. And then you can get this in a spray. You can also get it in a candle and a wax cup. Oh, get... but we're not done. We are not done, but I just need to smell this. Smell that. Okay. So the other thing oh. is the car scent. Um, we have two Ooh. different... There are two different ones you can get this month. The first one is Stronger Than You. From now on, all of our car scents are the shape of a pineapple. If you have come to any of the conventions with us, you will know that pineapples are kind of like a thing in our decoration. Uh, car scents are $3. Uh, they are, they're very potent actually. Yes, they're they really are. good. I have one in my car from Christmas time and I cannot wait to put this one on here. They are a little bit bigger, which I think will also help with the amount of Scent that and this version off. is also just a little bit more clear than the other ones were. They mm -hmm. were a lot more opaque and purple, and now we've got these... I, I like this look. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a cute look. It is. So some new scents to the animation collection. The first one is called Skadoosh. It is made by Pam, who is one of our reps. She it made this because she won from last year, probably like a seller competition or something. Some competition we did, she won, and her prize was to do her own scent. She really likes pandas. Um, mm -hmm. I think her Instagram name is Panda Cruisin. Yes. So she obviously picked Kung Fu Panda as her theme and Skadoosh. The scent notes are bamboo, ginger, and ylang ylang. I haven't really smelled this, I have to say. It is a little bit more of a floral scent. Yeah, a little bit. Which is not what I was expecting initially, but I mean, bamboo, hello. I don't dislike it. I, I'm not normally for, for that sort of thing, but this also kind of has a cleanness to it. Yeah, it's really interesting. Like, it's kind of like a, a powder. Spicy, sweet, clean. Yeah. And one of the things that this is, uh, why these scents are present, is that Poe, the main can character, originally worked in a noodle shop, so he's got that ylang ylang, the ginger from all of the cooking that he does, and then bamboo, because uh, pandas eat bamboo, I think. Here is Orlando, and he is dressed up as Poe. And right next to him is Eleanor, and she is dressed up as Tigress, uh, with all of the facial markings and everything. Super cute. <laughs> it is cute. Our last scent in the collection is by Daylight, and it is uh, uh, submitted as a create a scent by Stephanie, which is her third scent this month. So she decided to do Sailor Moon. The scent notes are blackberry, plum, and gardenia. And I like how it smells. It is very fruity, but not like overtly floral, which is really great. Mm -hmm. We have this in both a spray and a car scent for you. Mm -hmm. There's a heavy history in this. First off, if you're going to be doing cosplay, as all of our characters are doing, eventually you're going to be branching into Sailor Moon. Ravenna has finally branched into that. I don't know why we haven't before. That um, time. Just about everything in this scent is explained by the history of Sailor Moon. When it was first brought over to America, it was done so by a company called Deke. Deke did not understand anime. It thought that everything that was a cartoon was for children, so they redid everything in Sailor Moon to be for kids, including rewriting the opening theme song to have Finding Love by Daylight, um, never running from a real fight. She didn't really find love very successfully just about any time, and she ran from every single fight in the show every time, without fail. She is a total whiny crybaby. They call her that all the time, and that's why you kind of have this little bit of a... The, the gardenia is coming forward in kind of a baby powder-ish scent, hiding through all of the fruity scents. Because she also loves sweets. Our next scent is one that is a signature scent for a brand new character. Their name is Jamie. And we need a little bit of a background to tell you why this is such an important character. About 1% of everybody in the world uh, is born in what's called intersex. And that means that they have characteristics of both physical genders when they are born, and it causes no abnormalities at all. Unfortunately, because of the way that our society has been working itself, doctors very often will perform surgeries on these children to make them one gender or the other. And they grow up feeling like they didn't have a choice into who they would be. There is now a movement uh, that you can find all over 
the uh, all over Instagram that is about not doing these surgeries anymore, allowing the child to grow up and start to figure out who they are and then make the decision for themselves. And I actually worked with somebody who had been given the surgery and forced into being a girl, and when she grew up, she's like, I think the doctor chose wrong. And not just people who were born this way, but people who have been born, like, not in the skin that they are in. They feel like they should be something different, and I think that this character really celebrates all of that. Being who you want to be, and not being defined by your gender. Mm -hmm. And this character, this is Jamie. And Jamie is about the same age as Zane. They are classmates. And uh, Jamie has not had this surgery. They have, they have gotten the opportunity to just be who they are. And as such, they choose which aspects of each gender to bring out at different times in their life. So you've already seen that Jamie has kind of been celebrated in Snowman Sniffles, which is very much about being who you are. In other times, you might see Jamie dress up more boyishly, or more girlishly, or more whateverishly. Because Jamie doesn't care. They be who they be. And Jamie, right now, for their signature scent, is dress a Celtic Highlander, basically. Also, also, we thought this was really perfect. We really wanted a Celtic-themed scent of some kind, so we mm -hmm. thought, well, why not? It's a kilt. They're worn by men and women. Mm -hmm. This is this is a great idea. And besides that, you know, we are we have Celtic in our background, so we thought this would be a really great theme to put on our on our newest mascot. Um, the scent notes are clementines, huckleberries, and clean air. Really like you're on some kind of it's like the the old roads right next to like collapsing stone walls, mm. and there's woods and trees everywhere. Kind of like if you like Outlander, you'll probably like this scent because mm -hmm. it's invoking the same feelings, I think. The name is... Mayer, which is a Gaelic word, a command to live that can be survive. It can be live more. It can be just live your life. This is not only kind of the way that Jamie lives, but it's also something that in their relationship with Zane, there have been moments where they have had to say that to Zane, as Zane has focused a lot of his energies on somebody who doesn't necessarily return them. You can get this not only in a spray, but also in a scrub. This is the only scrub that is scented that we are offering for the month of January. Mm -hmm. Unless you get some of our overstock. <laughs> um, which, by the way, the overstock is like four bucks, so it's more than 50% off. Just put it out there. I hope you adore them like we adore them. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love all of my mascots, but I really have a special place for Jamie. <laughs> now there is one more scent. And this, this scent, this is probably my oh, favorite. It's been sitting in front of me this whole time, and I've just been completely glazing over it. <laughs> yeah, you have. I have. Yeah, you have. We could not go through the month of January without doing the scent. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, we just couldn't. And I'm just, we're just gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, gonna talk about this. it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna, we're gonna do it. Okay. It is called. Spit that out. It is, of course, based on the Mandalorian because who does not like the child? We were gonna call it the child, but we decided eh, everybody calls their scent the child <laughs> because that silly little child. <laughs> Gets into so much trouble. Who, do, who does not love the child? Let, let's go with that. Who does not love the child? Because honestly, if you... I cannot look at this this face mm -hmm. and go... <laughs> I just can't. She can't even emulate can't. what the face she can't do is. I just can't. <laughs> so we'll just talk about the scent. Okay, so it has spit that out as blackberry chai and bubbles. Because <laughs> I think it just is perfect. Yeah. So the chai does kind of get a lot of the scent of the Mandalorian ship. Mm. Just having this little baby with the blackberry and the, it's the, the fun little bubbles. It's the, yeah, so cute. Exactly. And you can get this in a spray, a candle, and also a portion wax this month only. But tell me about this art because, oh my gosh, this art. <laughs> Orlando, Orlando's making another combined appearance with somebody else for this month, but he is currently portraying Mando, Orlando Mando, <laughs> and in front of that, feeling the helmet is baby Yoda, but that this is a this is an alteration of the Yoda that we had for Masters. Mm. So it is still Waldo, 
portraying a much younger Yoda. And those eyes are huge. Huge. And the little teeth. Yeah. <laughs> He's it. just so happy, uh, like, floating that helmet around in the air. It's just so fun. That is January's stuff. Again, we will not be coming out with as many new scents every month. At least we have a couple planned for February and March, but after that we may be slowing it down a little bit and just really focusing on the scents that we already have, unless something comes up like this, that we're like, we need to do this. And also, if you are wanting to know more about these characters, we mm. are trying to build up a universe around them in a way. Yeah. And we need, we are looking to make these characters have fully fledged personalities. They all have something. And if you want to know more about them, or if you have something in your own head canon that you feel about these characters, let us know down below so that we can start having a bigger discussion about it with you and with us. Please make sure that you go and look at, of course, the stuff in the Facebook group because there's a lot of information in there as well. And my Instagram, which has lots of stuff on it now. Oh yeah. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. And until next time, stay zany.